Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. On our prayer request. Oh, by the way, I have my tumbler I got yesterday from a flower child with my coffee in it. Wake up and smell the coffee. I love it. And also, I need to show this in case I don't do another video in here. There's my Kentucky Wildcat shirt that Joy Tucker gave me. I'm still <laughs> excited from yesterday, y'all. Okay, on a prayer request, Brenda's husband still needs prayer for recovery after falling off a ladder. And he really hurt himself bad. He broke both ankles and all. He did a lot of stuff to hurt himself. Um, so he's all had a long road to recovery. And uh, Lisa needs prayer. Uh, she's, you know, was in the hospital. I don't have an update. I, I need to look and see if she's given an update. But I hope she's doing better. Um, tweets. Had her blood work to check her liver enzymes. Pray it's okay. And Mike from his uh, channel's Michigan Mike made it through surgery well. He had strips of plastic in his stomach from ice bags. Uh, he also had two kidney stones removed. No wonder he was bleeding internally. Uh, he's still in, this was yesterday, still in a medically induced coma or a day before yesterday. And they, they were supposed to remove the respirator. Well, they're supposed to today, Sunday. So I guess he was still in a coma yesterday in an induced coma so that's rough i mean but at least they found out what was going on you know kidney stones are bad enough but i imagine maybe the only thing i can think of you know if you get a bag of ice and it's froze all together some people like i would i mean get a knife you know and and like stab it to get it uh loose and stuff and i'm and maybe if that's what happened maybe it had little strips of plastic had got you know in the ice and he swallowed it um i hope it wasn't already in the ice you know and everything that would be a bad thing uh and norma has an unspoken request what are you doing over there kitty she's in the sink <laughs> okay our let me get a drink of my new tumbler Yummy. Our Bible reading today comes from 2 Samuel 6, 1 through 9. David again brought together all the able young men of Israel, 30,000. He and all his men went to Bala in Judah to bring from there the ark of God, which is called by the name, the name of the Lord Almighty, who is enthroned between the cherubim on the, the ark. They set the ark of God on a new cart and brought it from the house of Abina Dab, which was on a hill. Excuse me, y'all. Uzzah and Ahio, sons of Abinadab, were guiding the new cart with the ark of God on it, and Ahio was walking in front of it. David and all Israel were celebrating with all their might before the Lord, the, with castanets, harps, lyres, timbrels, sistrums, and cymbals. When they came to the threshing floor of Nacon, Uzzah reached out and took hold of the ark of God because the oxen stumbled. The Lord's anger burned, burned against Uzzah because of his irreverent, irreverent act. Therefore God struck him down, and he died there beside the ark of God. Then David was angry because the Lord's wrath had broken out against Uzzah, and to this day that place is called Perez Uzzah. David was afraid of the Lord that day and said, How can the ark of the Lord ever come to me? Okay. Our devotion today is entitled Lava and Paradise. All is quiet save for slowly stretching tentacles of hissing lava nipping at the edges of the tropical foliage. Residents stand grim-faced yet amazed. Most days they call this paradise. On this day, however, the fiery fishers in Hawaii's Puna district reminded everyone that God forged these islands via untamable volcanic power. The ancient Israelites encountered an untamable power too when King David recaptured the Ark of the Covenant. 
A celebration broke out until a man died suddenly when he grabbed hold of the ark to steady it. This may tempt us to think of God as being an un as unpredictable as a volcano, just as likely to create as he is to destroy. However, it helps to remember that God had given Israel specific, in specific instructions for how to handle the things set apart for worshiping him. Israel had the privilege of drawing near to God, but his presence was too overwhelming for them to approach him carelessly. Hebrews 12 call, recalls a mountain burning with fire where God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. That mountain terrified everyone, but the writer contrasts that scene with this. You have come to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant. Jesus, God, Jesus God's very son, made the way for us to draw near to his untamable yet loving Father. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to pray today for everybody on the prayer list. Um, we got some with some serious situations going on, and if you please remember the unspoken request too, and help each and every one of them, and anybody else out there that needs it, Lord. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope y'all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Um, and as soon as it warms up a little bit more, I'll be having some coffee outside and I'll show y'all the damage from overnight. Okay, everybody have a great day and I'll see you later.